well, I'm really attracted to this painting by Fra Newbury uh, for many reasons. And the first thing that caught my eye about it was the title. The title is Serbian Women. And ever since I've been coming into the McManus, I've been drawn to this painting. Fra Newbury was the headmaster or director of the Glasgow School of Art. And he started there in the 1880s and he continued to be the director up until 1918 and he transformed the Scottish art scene in those years, in those decades. He transformed the teaching of art. He had been educated himself at South Kensington, which became the V&A uh, in London, and he was originally from Dorset. But he brought to Scotland an international uh, quality and an attention to all the different crafts of art. What we're looking at actually here is not just Fra Newbury's painting. We're looking at Fra and Jesse Newbury's work. Uh, they started to travel to the Balkans, to Bulgaria, to Serbia, to Croatia, to the former Yugoslavian lands. They bought various ceramics, various silverwork, and a broad range of costumes, dresses, clothes, including a pansy, uh, sandals or moccasins that they found in Belgrade or in Niche in Serbia or in Sofia. They also bought a distaff in Sofia and I suspect that might be the distaff that's in this painting. Fra came back and he started to exhibit various works with Serbian themes uh, based on using some of the costumes and jewellery that uh, Jesse had bought. But the thing is these aren't Serbian women. It's called Serbian women, and they're, they're wearing Balkan dress, Northwest Macedonian dress, and they're engaged in creating art. Uh, one, you know, pulling the yarn, and the other one is actually knitting. Uh, they, so they are in the process of creating a local artwork, a textile art. Uh, but they are women probably a mother and daughter, Mrs. Shepherd and Lucy Shepherd from Corfe Castle. Mrs. Shepherd was a dressmaker and she would sometimes make uh, Jesse Newbury's dresses for her that Jesse had designed. And certainly she worked on the pageant where similar dresses were worn by the children and by the pageant queen who unveiled the village sign that Fra Newbury had just painted. So there's this whole sense of these two women representing an imagined Serbia when actually they're representing also an imagined Dorset, England. And this is painted when he's 75 years old and yet there's still a life in it, there's an energy, there's a youthfulness, there's a sense of the passage of time from the younger woman studying the slightly older woman. So generationals, gener generational kind of connection here and the passing on of tradition, but also the allowance of innovation. So an artist, a painter, showing textile craft and elevating it to a, a matter of high art really is very significant. And that's why I'm particularly pleased that this work is in the McManus.